In this video, I will show how to do grid independence test on a 2D geometry. So here is the mesh file which we have done on the our geometry. So I have already opened. This is the mesh one. We have done the meshing here. This, this is the meshing, and we want to parameterize the parameter in order to do the grid independence test. So we want the element size and number of element to parameterize. Our input parameter will be the element size. We will vary the number of element size, and according to that, we will get the number of uh, elements in our the whole, whole mesh element. So we will vary the element size, and we will get the number of element. And for output parameter, we will include so many parameters like out output outlet temperature, outlet velocity, outlet maximum pressure or minimum pressure like this. So first we will parameterize this element size. We'll go to uh, this missing part, and here we can see the element size option is there. We'll parameterize this one element size again. Click on mesh, go to statics. Here, elements option is there. Click parameterize this one also. Click on this checkbox, then it will get parameterized. Now we can see in the workbench this parameter set has option has came here. If we double click on this, then we can see we can see here that. Uh, Already our face face element size, mass element, and uh, both are parameterized, and uh, it is showing the value. The face element size uh, which we I have kept it is 0.25, and the number of elements are 2 lakh 85,100 something. So this is the inlet. This this value I will keep on varying, and some more parameter I will keep it here like outlet temperature, outlet pressure, outlet velocity, Mach number like this, and I will see the variation of the results according to the if the value is coming constant, so that mesh element we will choose and we will do our further simulation and we will uh, extract the result at that value only. Once uh, after this, uh, uh, after this grid independence test, we will choose uh, any one mesh element size on which it will show the constant value and there will be not so many so much variation in the outlet parameter values. So already I parameterized the input parameter. Now we will go to parameterize the outlet. Output parameter. In order to parameterize the output parameter, we'll click on solution. Right click on it. Go to edit. Already I uh, I have clicked here and I have opened this. The NCS student interface is already here. This is the solution part which I have opened. Already I have run the simulation. Now we we want to parameterize the output parameter. So for that, click on report. Here we can see the options. First I will click close all this, and here. In the result option, if we click here, double click result. So here we can see the option called surface integral. We can see in the report section. In the report section, we can see the option called surface integral. We will click on the surface integral. In surface integral part, we want the either average value or maximum value, facet maximum value or facet average value. So here we will go with the facet maximum. Uh, we can go with either uh, maximum value or either average value. Let's take we will go with facet average value. So we and we want let's say pressure we want the outlet pressure. So static pressure we can select other parameter also which we want to keep it as keep it as our outlet pa parameter. First let's take I will take the pressure as our, our our outlet parameter to get the value at the outlet. So pressure static pressure choose here. Now I want the outlet phase. Outlet is so I will click on outlet. It is selected. Now com click on compute. So it will give the value of the pressure which is at the outlet at this section. At this section, what is the value? At this section, what is the uh, average static pressure value? It is showing like one seven three seven six zero value Pascal. It is showing, uh, and I want to parameterize this one. I want to parameterize this uh, pressure, and I want to do the grid independence test. So for that, click on Save Output Parameter. Here we can see the option called Create New Output Parameter. Already it is highlighted. Now I'll keep like this only and write write the parameter name according to your wish. Uh, what uh, we are um, we have selected outlet temperature, outlet pressure. So we will write. Outlet pressure, so that we can easily identify like which parameter we have parameterized um, by looking here. Because when we will see here, uh, like uh, when we will look here, here we can see like it is written face element size, mass element. Like this, it will come here. Some names will come. If we will just 
keep the uh, parameter one, parameter two, parameter three like this name and the default name, then we can't be able to know like uh, what things like uh, which parameter we have parameterized for so that we are changing the name. So I will write this one as outlet pressure. Now click on OK. As soon as I click on OK, now if we go to workbench and click here, so he, we're here we can see that uh, the option, the D, the D column has came already been added in this uh, whole table and uh, with the name of P3 like uh, parameter 3 outlet temperature the uh, unit it is already showing in Pascal and once I will click here right uh, uh, here on the 3 where it is written in yellow color 3 if I click here and right click it and click on update se update selected design point if I click on update then it will update the outlet pressure and, and it will load the value whatever what value it will load it will load this value 173760 this value it will load there in the workbench already the mesh element is uh, I have provided and on that mesh element I got the on that mesh element size I got this number of element now outlet parameter automatically once I once I will update this design design point then it will load the outlet pressure value here like this only this like this only we can uh, parameterize different different parameter let's take I will parameterize uh, some more parameter outlet parameter uh, this is the pressure I have done. Let's take I will take for a temperature. So average static temperature at the outlet I will parameterize. So first click uh, click on temperature, static temperature, then outlet. After selecting outlet, now click on compute. Here we can see the outlet temperature is 1159 kilo Kelvin, like around uh, 1160 Kelvin. So I want to parameterize this one, uh, this outlet temperature, outlet static temperature. For that, click on save output parameter create new parameter already it is selected uh, instead of parameter 2 the default name write outlet temperature name outlet temperature outlet temperature click on ok as soon as I click on ok we can see in the workbench that uh, this outlet temperature value has been highlighted here so I want to update this design point this is the single single design point like this only I will vary the number of element size and I will get the, I will do the grade independence test. So this was the procedure like how to parameterize our outlet outlet parameter and how to uh, how to use this outlet value in order to get get the different value for in the grade independence test. So let's take I will provide some uh, more values also. For that click on this block this column down of 0.25 mm and provide the value or else uh, first update it will click until and unless it will get update so for that it will ask like updating selected design points some open editor like ansys fluent editor will close so we will have to continue this we'll click on yes it will close the ansys fluent interface and mess interface both and it will update the values which uh, we have got in the outlet so As soon as it will load the value, it will load this value here. It will take uh, loading this value here. It will take around more. Uh, it that is, it will run the complete iteration from uh, if we have given thousand iteration, then it will run uh, full thousand iteration for each and every value. For each and every value, it will run thousand iteration and it will load this value. So as I have updated this design point, the row th uh, row, row row number three for 0.25 mm size. I have updated the design point so it, it is running this uh, part here we can see like it is running the simulation here so it will take more and more time it will take around one and two hours we'll wait until it will get updated once it will get updated then again we will vary the number of elements face element size and like this one by one one by one we can update the design points either we can update the design point one by one or we can and, and select all design points at, at a time and we can update it we will wait until it gets, it gets completed. We can see the progress here. If we click on show progress, then it will show like how much it is completed. This green, green part is showing like uh, like more than half of the part uh, is completed. We will wait, wait until it completes. Once it will show the values here, once the outlet pressure and outlet temperature value will get loaded here, then uh, again we will write the different values in the next uh, in the next row. Like let's say we will write the uh, face element size as 0.2 mm. For this, for that 0.2 mm now again we will click here after clicking here click right click and again again after right click click on update selected design points then again and for each and every for each and every row click on this retain option here we can see the one tick mark is there in the retain 
click on this for as uh, we will keep on updating uh, each and every one so for everyone uh, for all these uh, values for all these rows keep on return uh, click on the return uh, icon so that it will return the data whatever uh, we are loading so that uh, it, it, there, there will be less chance to loss the data so like this uh, we will vary the mess element size and uh, we will get the uh, parameter value with the help of grid independence test we will wait until it's complete so let's wait until it's get complete now after waiting for some time we can see like uh, this uh, value has been loaded like complete simulation has been run again the again residuals uh, have run for 100 iterations and it is showing we can increase the number of iteration like uh, for in order to uh, complete the iteration fastly i kept 100 iterations we'll keep 1000 or 2000 or 3000 iterations and we can see like for 0.25 mm size a mess element size is this much and outlet pressure and outlet temperature value has been loaded by chance uh, i have kept this on both p4 and p5 are same instead of uh, like uh, neglect this one p4 this is p5 outlet temperature like uh, by mistake i kept double no problem like this is outlet temperature this is outlet pressure and now we will uh, vary the element size uh, in, in the different different rows and we will get the different different values so let's take a we'll click here and we'll write the value as 0 0.24 once writing 0 0.24 click enter as soon as we'll click enter we can see like here it was dp0 like design point 0 here design point 1 like this it will load again i will write 0 0.23 enter 0 0.22 press enter 0 0.21 just enter as i am increasing the as i am decreasing the number of mess element size so number of element, mess element will increase and our parameters will be also will little bit varying but we will wait until the parameter start getting constant then that mess size will be our appropriate mess size and and that mess size we will uh, extract our results again i will write 0 0.2 like this we can vary the size here i have uh, kept the uh, size in decreasing order after click once click on 3 and already in the, for 3 design point 0 all, all values are loaded so if i want to load i want to load the design point 4 5 6 7 and 8 so for that before uh, loading the value click on the uh, return data on this this one this one you can see if i the return option is there click on this click on this click select all and after this click click on 4 on the yellow part click here press control then click on 8 control and select everything after selecting after pressing control click and select uh, from 4 to 8 because we want to load the value for all these design points and we will want to load these all values and we want we will plot the graph uh, of the uh, grid independence test in the excel so before plotting we will extract this uh, data so as we have selected all design points now right click and click on select this update selected design point so it will update all the values once i'll click on this it will uh, say like the editor the um, fluent editor it want to close so we'll click on close we'll click on yes so it will close the fluent editor and it will start loading the value to in order to see the progress uh, like how much it is completed here hide progress option either if we will click on hide progress then it will hide the pro, uh, progress like how much it is updated again we will click on show progress so here we can see the green part is showing the values are updating so it will take some few minutes and uh, few hours like one hour or two hours to load all these design points once this value will get loaded then we can see like once our parameter out outlet parameter start getting constant so we will we will choose that mesh element minimum mesh element at which our outlet parameter start getting constant that minimum mesh element will be our appropriate mesh element and at that minimum mesh element we will do our analysis and we will extract our result and we will do further uh, procedure like plotting the graph and extracting the results and uh, and bring uh, and extracting the contours so we will update all these design points see already it, it has started loading for 0.24 mm element size uh, element size the number of mesh element is coming around 3 lakh 10,000 
twenty four something like this three lakh uh, three lakh ten thousand like this it will load we will wait until it gets completes and this is the procedure like how to do the grid independence test in this video I have show, uh, showed from scratch like how to start uh, after the simulation how, after uh, running the uh, uh, after running the complete iteration how to do the grid independence test in the next video uh, the I provided a link in the I will provide the link below like how to plot the graph and how to do the xy plot and how to do other uh, extracting the results and uh, extracting the contours from the uh, simulated file so we will wait until it is complete for this video thank you thank you for watching like this is our complete part in which I have showed like uh, how to do the grade independence test and how to do analyze our results uh, after running the appropriate number of iterations so th thank you for uh, watching this lecture uh, for wa watching this uh, part i will uh, provide the link of the further uh, videos like uh, how to do plotting and how to do the xy plot and how uh, i will also provide the link like how uh, how we have done the messing and uh, about the geometry whatever we have chosen here how we have uh, provided the boundary condition everything i have provided the link in the description below please go through it for today thank you this is the complete part like how to do the greedy dependence test